Hello and welcome! I am Gary and Reva and this is Alluris. This is a roguelike card based D&D sort of game. I did a first impressions on it on the main channel that is linked in the description and at the end. Maybe not at the end. I can't remember if I can link it at the end. Anyway, it might be at the end. So this is a, it's basically one of those like swipe left or right games but for D&D and it may be official. Like in the in the achievements, it mentions tieflings, and I'm fairly sure they're an intellectual property, like copyrighted. Anyway, I thought I'd give this a go. Let's try a mail. Yeah, everything else locked off. Um, fairly sure I can just be a farmer. Yeah, I played a bit of this. I haven't played a lot, uh, so you unlock the stuff as you go. So a male human farmer named whatever that was, because I apparently clicked go. You've come of adventuring age and your uncle offers to take you to Alluris to sell an artifact he found. Uh, strike it on my own. All right, let's go. The two of you load up the cart and head out, taking the road to Alluris. The cart is attacked by an orc. He yells for you to run. Um, I will help fight. Your uncle takes a bad hit, but the two of you destroy the creature. Bloody hell, I took a big hit. Your uncle remarks that the creature must have come from the mountains. There's a rumour that Baron Dread is building up an army there. Before you stands the city of Alluris. Bring your uncle. Well, that's take your uncle to a tavern. Alright, to the tavern. You drag your uncle to the tavern. He tells you that someone will need to stop Baron Dread before he marches on Alluris. They'll need to be extremely powerful though. Injured uncle. The tavern. Night's sleep. In, uh, get a room with uncle. Uh, let's get a room. Get a room. As you settle down for the evening, your uncle hands you the treasure he wanted to sell. He tells you it's for your birthday and you should sell it in town. Uh, sell loot. I'll sell the loot this time. You sell the large piece of treasure for gold. From here you're on your own, but Baron Dread is out there and you don't have much time. Uh, I will. I can rest when I'm dead. No, I shall. We'll get a room. Ah, so that costs gold, increases, uh, restores my health. Can pay to hang around. Uh, yeah, I'll hang around in the tavern. An old sailor approaches you. He needs a guard to protect his ship from pirates out at sea. Ooh, he's a cat person? Uh, he promises to pay well for a guard, but it might be dangerous. Let's go! He leads you to his ship. His crew loads up an ocean voyage. An older man sprays himself with pirates repellent. What? What? What did you sign up for? Borrowed ship, human crew. Pirate attack. A pirate ship dashes in from the mists. Fight or parley. Let's fight. You and the crew board the pirate ship. Together you fight the pirates back, but soon their captain arrives. Now for the real fight. Ooh, challenge 10. Um, fight. You dive into combat, desperate to save the ship. In the fighting, you snatch a map off the pirate captain. You're dead. Bugger. So you see why I call this a D&D card game? It's like a D&D adventure, but it's... Yeah, it's one of those swipe games. Okay, let's go for it again. This time, I'll be a female adventurer named... Abitha Melnorn. Let's go. Alright, let's go. Orc ambush. This time I'm going to go get help. By the time you get help, your uncle's badly wounded, but you finish off the creature. He remarks that the creature's from the mountains, so basically the same outcome, but I didn't get hurt this time. And I also didn't get any experience. Uh, let's leave the uncle with a guard. He catches your arms, you leave. He pleads that you're not ready to fight him. Why would I? I'm a farmer. You'll need to train if you're going to save the world. Why would I? I'm a farmer. Uh, let's try to move the thing. So that's increasing my karma, but damaged my health. You try to move it, but you are too weak. A mean bird. That's a nose I won't follow. Um, fight it. Two men arguing. They point at each other, claiming each is the real one. Uh, both of you are real. They stop and look at each other. After a few minutes' discussion, they discover they're, they're long lost brothers. They toss you a sack of gold. Um, I will enter Alluris. The fair, there is a large fair going on. Do you attend? Uh, sure. Mead stand. A small stand of many mugs of mead catches your eye. Uh, no thanks. 
A large cannon. Volunteer to be launched out of it? That seems dangerous. A few of the more pompous attendees appear to be practicing for a swordplay expedition. Uh, exhibition, sorry. Uh, yeah. And I died. This time I'm Barry Holden. Okay, let's go. Avoid. Uh, take him to the tavern. Get a room. Sell the loot. Music store. The old shopkeeper offers you a deal on an old loot. Um, sure. I've got the money. You pay and retrieve the loot. It's beautiful, but you have no idea how to play. City builder? Baker, sorry. Um, no thanks. A tavern? I'll rest when I'm dead. Maybe it's time to go back on the road. Yes. Injured woman. You find an injured hag woman. I would take her with me. Farmers hiding on a roadside. Something looks like it spooked these folks. Follow the pointing. It's an ore crawler. That's unsettling. You smash the creature. The farmers are safe, but it's from its unholy scuttling. That they don't have any gold to pay you. They, you take the barrel it was wearing. Ah, oh, these are the things I've got. Hag companion, instrument, barrel. Keep walking. A pack of rats. Uh, I will attack the rats. And I will enter the city. Drop the hag woman off in town. Yeah, this seems like a good place. The hag woman thanks you, hands you some coin, then disappears. Shady figure. Walks up to you and offers you whatever he has in his pocket for a price. Um... What's the worst that could happen? You receive some dirty beans. Delivery medicine for Bradford. A man laments that he won't be able to take his medical delivery to Bradford. I'll deliver it. A large fair. I've got better things to do. Ooh, fertile soil. I will plant my beans. Maybe someday they'll grow up big and strong. Uh, I would like to go to the tavern. Oh, the beanstalk has grown. Climb up. A large sky fortress. A locked door in the halls and fortresses of the corridor. What? Uh, try the knob. It's locked. I literally just said that. Wow. Dick. Um, I will hide from the golem. You find a massive garden. Up in the sky, a tablet stands to one side. Read the tablet. Seems to be covered in the, carved in a language you don't speak. You shrug, picking a sky rose from the base of the stone. That was. I mean, that's a daisy, but okay. Uh, I will descend the beanstalk. There's a city official looking to, unre uh, to remove an unsightly old tower, but he lacks the means. Uh, I don't do urban demolition. Okay. Uh, I will buy some bread. What a cheap yet filling delicacy. The tavern, get a room. Okay, now I'm fully healed. Uh, I will head out. Guard captain, an urban man approaches you demanding information about the undercity. Uh, I have no idea what that is. He straightens his jacket, apologizes, and marches off to harass the next pedestrian. Leave town? Ye oh, damn, I meant to click, yes. This man is said to carry knowledge of a time long past. Uh, tell me of the present. Dragons seem to always sleep. What happens if they wake up? Adventurers sure are lucky that they slumber so deeply. Uh, yes, head out. You stand before a cave entrance. Enter. You find ruins at the back of the cave. They go deeper in. Descend. A stone golem walks like a mountain with legs. Uh, run back to the road. A fruit cart. Uh, no, I'm, I'm full. Thanks. The frozen wastes. Enter. You're suddenly ambushed by a fearsome yeti. Uh, run. You turn to flee, but the yeti catches you with his club, knocking you down. He drags you down to his lair. You find your feet frozen to the ceiling. Nearby, a glowing sword is making a Star Wars reference. Um, play dead. He returns and pulls your secretly conscious body free. You take the opportunity to bite it on the ear and squirm free. Uh, run. You take a claw to the back of the head as you charge away, climbing out into the bitter cold of the tundra. Ooh, a chest. Hack it free. Uh, okay, can't get it free. An ice slug. I will fight. An ice ghoul. I will run. 
An egg thief. I will run because I'm low on health. You find a hut. Check inside. A piper nest. Inside you find a massive nest of piper birds. They're so cute. You just can't slay the birds, but as you pet one, its mother sees you touch it and kicks it out of the nest. You collect the bird into your cloak and walk away. Ick hard law keepers. Armoured men with katanas. Uh, can I join? They explain that they're from the Ikhart Monastery up the large mountain to the south. They offer to show you the way. Foot of Mountain Originius. Originus. Originus. Some sort of ancient monastery. Climb the mountain. And I'm dead. But I got an achievement over the tundra. The Adventures of Chris Kelly. Chris Kale, sorry. This time I will strike out on my own. Goodbye, family. Goodbye, family. Before you lies an endless desert. Enter. Sand merchant who's definitely not ripped off from Disney. Uh, he's trying to sell sand. Why would I want sand? Sand is going to be a big business. You're making a huge mistake not getting in on the ground floor. What, do you not like money? An oasis. Walk towards it. Ah, oh, it was imaginary. An ancient pyramid as wide as it is pointy. Let's investigate. You wander towards the pyramid when you take a step inside the door slam behind you. You're trapped. Two doors. Right door or left door? Let's go left. You're safely transferred to another chamber, but the door seals seal behind you. Uh, let's go left again. The floor falls out from below you and you slide down a shaft back to the dunes and you're dead. Deirdre Main. Strike it on my own. A picnic basket. As you walk down the road, you come across a carefully prepared picnic basket full of fruit. Well, it's not mine to... Oh, I can either take it or eat it, so I would take it. A common pack of rats. Attack them. Uh, frozen waste. Keep walking. We did that one. Tree in the road. Try to move it. I'm too weak. Uh, venture into the forest. Yes. A foreboding forest. Ahead lies a forest with an ominous presence. Let's head deeper. You realise the path out has changed. You're no longer familiar with your surroundings. Uh, is this a way out? There must be another way. A mana storm, a violent cyclone of magic. Leap to cover. A forest spider. She's faster than you, and I'm dead. Egbert Eggson. Strike out. Wild berries. Mmm, delicious. Oh, they're poison. A river. Go fishing. Oh, and I ate a fish. Uh, into the mountains. A raptor demon. Wow, those are two horrible things to combine. Um, panic. Okay. A dire boar crosses your path. Fight it. And I'm dead immediately. Fitz Fimblewinter. I think every time I don't go into the... Th uh, every time I don't do this bit, I end up, you know, dying horribly. So let's get a room. Let's keep the loot. Merchant shrugs and reminds you that keeping it will only make you a target for bandits. You walk away. From here, you're on your own. Oh. So it's not... Oh, wait. No, there is. Look, there's a thing there. Huh. Uh, oh, I see. Right. So I thought it might be like an actual item. But it seems like you can carry... F what? Five bits of treasure? So I'll sell the treasure. Uh, get a room. And I will hang out in the tavern. An old man takes a seat at your table and offers a job. He needs an old mill on the road cleared out. It's full of ghosts. Uh, I will rid the mill of ghosts, no problem. Head out. A mean bird, fight it. Wild berries, eat them. There is, they were poisonous as well. The old mill. Uh, Alright, let's give it a look. You push inside, a booing sound grows. Boo! Boo! Several ghosts of young children fill the room. Oh. They don't look like young children. One of the ghosts raises an old cane in your direction and points towards Alluris. Grab the cane and slowly walk away. Okay. A particularly aerodynamic stone. Pick it up. You try and fail. Bradford. Enter Bradford. You meet a strange wizard. He tells you that true heroes create peace, not war. Then he disappears. What a random yet earnest sentiment. Old kook. Uh, church monks, you come upon a group of town monks. I will donate to the clerics. 
The monks bring out a small box and thank you for the donation. They give you a legendary holy hand grenade. I gave them five gold. There's a drinking tournament. Uh, I don't do competitive alcohol. Overworked farmer. Uh, he'll pay well enough. Um, yes. He shows you the fields and the two of you get to work harvesting his crop. After a day of working, he hands you a small patch of coin. Careless trader. You see a distracted street merchant. Um, draw his attention to his booth. You arrive at the front of the booth and ask to inspect some of the items. He realises his error and thanks you. Uh, I will head out to Bradford. Bradton? Uh, attack the rats. Two men arguing. They're both real. I wonder if things always come out the same way like that. Uh, the mountains were monstrously dangerous, so I'm going to keep walking. A river, though. Go fishing. You fish out a surprisingly pristine set of fancy dining cups and pots. I feel like I should sell this stuff. Uh, take the woman with me. Into Alluris. Uh, I think we should continue travelling together, old hag. Okie dokie. Uh, get a room, heal up. Hang out in the tavern, that worked out last time. A fallen star, someone should retrieve it. Um, so they gave me this cane? He quietly takes the cane lost in thought. He stands up exclaiming, Maybe there's still time! He leaves coins on the table and mumbles something about the true meaning of Christmas as he dashes away. This is a weird game. Town stables. Do, yeah, I'll buy a horse. You pay the stable master for coin and he grabs the and grab the reins of your new horse. Tamed horse. Um... Let us head out. A tree in the road. Tie the log to your horse. Yes. A cave entrance. Enter. A cute cave bug. Leave it be. You lightly pet the creature but pass it by. Its, its, its form vanishes and a proud wizard apiece stands in its place. It's the random wizard from town. Was this a test? <laughs> I only didn't because it's worth so little XP. I saw you speak earlier. I saw, he says. You seem to have listened too. He reaches into his pack and gently presents you with an enormous red egg. Take this down into the fires of the Underdark and witness the power of peace. A dragon egg. Cobbled looter. They like to steal things and have things to steal. Fight him. Skeletons. Ooh, treasure. Uh, bony boys. Fight him. Ancient ruins. Descend. Sleeping dragon. Uh, leave it alone. Stone golem. I'm going to die if I fight it, aren't I? I didn't die. Uh, behold, he screams like a man. No, fighting him is going to kill me, so I'm going to have to run back to the road. He who would cross must answer me these questions three. Uh, I shall answer your questions. What? Is your name? Um, Fitz Fimblewinter. What is your quest? To find a home for this woman. Some of them more interesting than just a town or a city. Oh, what animal is best? Uh, the the horse, of course. He looks at the beast standing beside you. It seems reliable and widely useful. He nods and allows you to pass. You swear the experience was enlightening. Uh, path leads off. No thanks. Bradford. Yes, I need to rest somewhere. Uh, I will donate to the clerics. Maybe I should get a room. Yes. Hang out in the tavern. You peruse the bulletin board. There's a personal ad for a healthy young adventurer. Shouldn't eat too much garlic. They promise a fun time and aren't picky about gender, which is good because I'm non-binary. Uh, yes. Uh, you only live once. Note this looks suspect as hell. Uh, he offers to buy your treasure, yes. Leave town. Uh, Alluris. Yeah, let's go into Alluris. Uh, the man is said to carry knowledge of a long time past. Um, yeah. Once, people considered giving adventurers a map to travel around with. I'm glad they didn't. Adventurers seem to get around better without one. Uh... I have no idea what the Undercity is. Shady figure. 
offers you whatever he has in his pocket for a price. Um, yeah. Dirty beans. Music store? No thank you. The fair? Yeah, let's go into the fair. Comically oversized cannon? Volunteer. You hurl through the air and land perfectly in the centre of a hail bale, hay bale with a bullseye. Oh, okay, I'm a, a, fairy ca a fair cannon champion. Uh, I will play. You show off your skills in a mock combat. You take a few cuts but remain victorious. Archery contest. I'll give it a go. You definitely shoot the bullseye. Jousting tournament. Join the tournament. You take a few bruises, but come out on top, earning some money and experience. Ring toss. Um, it is not part of the fair challenge. Why not? You try and fail. It was fun though. Uh, head back to Aluris. Plant my beans. Uh, buy some bread to heal up. Wow, that only costs one gold. Bean stalk. Climb up. Stone go a storm golem. Uh, fight. Ooh, two treasure. You find a massive garden. I will pick a sky rose. The world tree. You see a massive tree towering over the forest below. Pretty. Flying boar. When pigs fly is today, apparently. I hope you're ready. Fight him. Sealed doorway. Walk away. Um, I will walk away from the beanstalk, fight another boar, hide from the golem because I'm getting low on health, climb the vines. Oh shit. Oh, I was doing so well. Uh, oh, I did so well that time and I don't think I lock unlocked anything either. So that is Aluris. It's an odd game. Ah, oh, Fitz, Fimble, Winter, Egbert, Eggson, Deirdre, Deirdre, Maine. Chris Kale, Barry Holden, Abatha Melnorn, and Athelard Greyhaim. Ah, Fitz, you did so well. So let me know if you want to see more Aluris, or if you have any tips for particular ways you can play this better, because clearly I'm not amazing at it. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Subscribe for more board games, card games like this, D&D, also sort of like this, or miniatures, and I will catch you later.